And I've got to say, I was stunned the first time I heard about this issue. Have you heard of SIM cloning or SIM swapping? We're talking about the SIM card inside your cell phone. Imagine you wake up one morning and your phone, it's not connecting to the cellular network. It's still connected to Wi-Fi. Maybe there's just something wrong with your cellular provider and it's not working. They hacked corporations. None of these targets were particularly difficult to hack. A three-year-old could do it. How much money was taken from you? Over $200,000. Now, how would you know if you had been SIM swapped? For most of us, our cell phone is like our lifeline, right? We use them in case of emergencies. To not only contact police, but loved ones. We use them for financial reasons, banking apps, stocks, crypto. They hold access to everything important in our lives. Our phone numbers, business emails, passwords. And the crazy thing is in an instance, it can all be taken from you. And it was probably one of the most traumatic experiences I've ever gone through. I'm being hacked. There's wire transfers. They're fraudulent. Had you ever heard of SIM swapping before it happened? I'd never heard of this before. The FBI says many people haven't. And that's why when the crime starts, most have no idea what's happening until it's too late. What was your first clue that something was wrong? I realized oh wow, like my phone doesn't work at all. Here's how the FBI says SIM swapping works. It begins with identity theft. Scammers steal your information and convince your cell phone company they're you. They say their phone was lost or stolen and they need a new phone with a new SIM card activated with your phone number. Once that happens, all the information on your phone moves to the one in the scammer's hands, leaving your phone useless. When someone mentions that they have an inside connection, you know, someone who works at one of these phone carrier providers such as T-Mobile, AT&T, that means that they're bragging about how they can literally SIM swap you, meaning stealing your phone number and transferring over everything that is on your SIM card to a new SIM card. You may be wondering, okay, like, why would someone do this? It's really only worth it for a scammer to risk their freedom SIM swapping you if they know that you have a lot of money sitting in an account or crypto exchange, okay? And it's all backed up by a two-factor authentication code. Because as we mentioned, if you do get SIM swapped, those codes would no longer be getting sent to your phone. You know, they're literally stealing not only your phone number, but also your SIM card data. I mean, they can get into your emails, your business emails. Um, they could get access to other accounts. I mean, it's detrimental, guys. And it's absolutely nightmarish for anyone who has had to go through this. And not only that, I mean, it is the biggest risk to crypto investors, guys. That's another thing you have to understand. I've heard horror stories and god forbid you have a bank card linked to your account on the crypto exchange because ladies and gentlemen if a scammer gets access to your account not only will they be able to add funds you know and buy more cryptocurrency on the exchange they will also you know get hip to what banks you're using they will then proceed on to trying to use your phone number to get into your bank account and if they do get access into your account they will then try to start trying to initiate wire transfers just all types of things guys i mean sim swapping is a very crude form of identity theft okay Scammers will walk into a phone store trying to convince an employee to reassign their victim's phone number to a new phone, uh, either through lying or, you know, as we mentioned, scammers could even have a connection, somebody they're possibly paying for favors. And I mean, not only that, sometimes scammers can even manage to convince these employees to transfer over the phone number over the phone, right, without ever even needing to step foot inside of a phone store, which just makes this you know so scary and obviously you know phone providers have been getting better at preventing this from happening but obviously it still does happen to this day an fbi agent we spoke with warned of the all-access nature of the scam and asked we not name him to protect his identity as an investigator if that person has control of your phone number then they also have the ability to access all those accounts that your phone number is, is tied to. They didn't realize they were going to start going after like the financial accounts. That, that's when it was really scary. It was such a panic that, it, you know, something was so out of your control. The scammers gain that access because SIM swapping bypasses one of the top protections experts suggest you use, two-factor authentication. But as we all know, two-factor authentication is not the end all be all. If your bank texts or emails you a code, that now goes directly to the scammer, allowing them to reset all your passwords, access your accounts, and start to bleed them dry. That's exactly what happened to Heidi and Daisy. 
Someone posed as them and got each of their numbers assigned to a new phone. How much money was taken from you? Over $200,000. Now, how would you know if you had been SIM swapped? Well, for starters, your phone wouldn't be able to send or receive phone calls or anything like that. You would lose all connection except Wi-Fi. And a quick way to check is looking at those four little bars at the top right hand corner of your phone screen. As long as those are there, as long as those are showing you have connection, you have phone service, um, and you have not been SIM swapped. But if they're not there, you know, then you have something to worry about. And last but certainly not least, guys, remember, obviously, you never want to share personal information with anyone that you wouldn't trust with their credit card. You know, that's obvious. That's, that's apparent. But you also don't want to do anything over the phone. Okay, this is another thing a lot of people don't understand. When it comes to your bank account, don't do anything over the phone. Anything at all. Go to the bank. The fact that we even have to worry about anything like this is ridiculous. But in this day and age, like guys, anything can happen. You know, I was watching this um one video from Cybersecurity XP about SIM swapping, and someone commented on that video. My carrier in Vietnam requires photographs of the purchaser, which is a great way of you know, stopping fraud altogether. He says, with any significant changes, your likeness will be compared to the photograph on file. You would think with AI technology, somebody would create something like that, you know, because it would really help. I mean, it's really as simple as that, guys, but will AT&T, T-Mobile, et cetera, do that? Probably not. A few years ago, this scam was relatively uncommon. The FBI says, that's not the case anymore. So the victims are growing. Growing exponentially. You're about to meet a man who lost a million dollars. I freaked out. One minute, Rob Ross's investment accounts added up to a million dollars. The next, zero. I was devastated. I mean, I don't have, it, it was about 90% of my net worth. By 2021, there were 1,600 SIM swap complaints. And in 2022, more than 2,000 costing victims a combined $141 million. The spike is attributed to targeting cryptocurrency, but anyone can become a victim. What happens to these victims afterwards? Can they ever recover what's lost? Sometimes, if it's caught fast enough, it can be pulled back, but typically um, it relies on legal process like seizure warrants generated by us to try to go claw back some of those funds and, and try to return them to the victims. Don't overshare on social media. Information like the city you live in, where you work, who your family members are, can be used to steal your identity. We have credit cards, addresses, social insurance numbers. Hi, are you Fernanda? Yeah. Hi, I'm so sorry to bother you so late. My name is Magda. I'm with the CBC, and we believe your personal information may have been compromised. Sharing details that you have cryptocurrency also makes you a target. It's the biggest technology that's ever happened in the history of life. They only make money because some other sucker lost more. The only thing that you have to show is Ponzi schemes. Well, it's so all sorry. bullshit. Next, set up extra layers of security with your bank and other accounts. You can tell the institution you want to require a code word for certain transactions. You can also give two-factor authentication with a physical security key, essentially a flash drive, instead of using your phone number or email. I was a victim of a crypto hack where my wallet was compromised by an attacker and all my money was stolen. And I was completely pwned because of one really dumb mistake. I see stories like this all the time where people are losing insane amounts of money because they fail to protect their crypto. I was the victim of a crypto theft to the value of 163 Ether. It's probably now worth about £450,000. Daisy was lucky. PayPal stopped the transfers before they went through. Heidi's bank eventually reimbursed her money, but she says she wants more than just her money back. I want my day in court. I want these people found. I want them convicted. I want them put in jail. They also want their story to serve as a lesson to others. Be vigilant now so you won't regret it later.